Well, right now I am being joined with plant expert Mike Gillespie. Good morning, Mike. How are you doing this morning? Fine, Kristen. How are you? Good. Good. So, all right, spring is here and the mesquites are blooming. So, what should we be doing now? Well, absolutely. Easter's on its way. The, uh, mesquite trees are blooming. Scissor tails are here. Our little signals are all showing us that uh, winter is over and it's time to begin our spring planting and our spring cleanup. Uh, traditionally, early on like this, we start to clean out our beds, do our little first mowings on our lawns to clean up all the winter debris and this, that, and the other, and uh, start our vegetable gardens. Uh, the thing we're going to want to remember is, is um, that there still may be some some uh, cold weather coming that's out of the blue. So I wouldn't plant everything now. I would do it in layers or in signals uh, sections so you don't have everything to do at once. But I would go ahead and start making some room and uh, get everything planted. Okay. And um, like you were saying, you know, spring is here. What are some good uh, spring flowers to start planting? You know, early uh, in the in the spring season like this, some of our color that we use are petunias, stocks, snapdragons, uh, some Gerber daisies. Uh, all of those are very good eye appealing color that uh, will last us for two or three months, get us into the hotter parts of the time frame that we can move to our summer color uh, for our lawns. Once we, you know, I, I get a lot of questions about when is the proper time to fertilize, and it's not a dated event more than it is a signal event. So what we do is once we clean up the the winter debris from our lawns and do our mowings and this, that, and the other, uh, let's, let's watch our weed control. But once we have to remow the grass that has grown new for this season, we can fertilize not weeds but grass. So we're expecting some rain to come in. The weeds are going to outpace our grass if we keep those under control then our grass will start to wake up a little bit faster. And once it requires one remowing, then you can fertilize after that. As far as the vegetable gardens go, it's best as you clean up and get ready to plant. If you can incorporate in some slow release fertilizer, organic fertilizer or things like that, that usually works a little better. We should already have our onions planted, our potatoes are planted, so they've been growing for a little while. Uh, so now tomatoes, peppers, cantaloupe, okra, things like that. It's time to go ahead and get that in the ground. But again, I would layer that in, maybe one week do a third, the next week do a third, something like that. Okay, hey Mike, um, I know that you know right now you're not allowed to be here and we can't take questions, um, but where can they go if they have questions? I have set up a new email address, Mike's Plant Care, one word, Mike's Plant Care at gmail.com. Uh, if they want to go ahead and just send their questions in, I'll either answer them directly or I will go ahead and kind of formulate a little uh, set of questions that uh, people are interested in and that will constitute what I do on my next show. All right, Mike. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate sure. you. And we'll be right back after the break.